everyone, it's Karen with Cat Scrappiness, and today I'm going to be showing you the June 2018 new release from Cat Scrappiness. This month we are releasing four new die sets. The first one is the Stitched Scallop Circle die set. This one contains seven different sizes of the Stitched Scallop Circles. Here I have them cut out. The sizes range from the smallest one and an eighth to four and seven eighths of an inch. And I will have the, all the dimensions of the dies later on in some still shots. Here's what it looks like on a regular size card base. That's five and a half by four and a quarter. The largest one hangs off a bit, but that can give a unique card. Or you can scoot it over the largest one just to have it hanging off the side. Lots of different options here. I've also, for this one, have the option I cut out one of these scallop dies and then inset it with a smaller one to create this cute little frame. Another frame I created, I cut out one of the uh, stitched circle, circle dies and then for my stash, just added a circle die in it to create this frame. These two inset also with each other to create another different look for this die. I've created a card using this, these dies. I cut out one of the circles, the, st the stitched scallop circles, and then overlaid it with just a circle, a stitch circle die just to give it this cute little scalloped detail on the card. Next up, we have the oval dies. This set contains five different dies. Here they are cut out. The sizes range from one inch to one and seven eighths inch and three and a half to four and three eighths of an inch. Here's how it looks on a normal size, typical size card base. Great focal point for the card. Created a card using this. I cut out the largest oval and then cut out a just a regular oval from my stash just to create this cute little frame and popped it up on the card for this. Now we have the square stitched scallops, stitched scallop squares. This one contains six different dies. Here they are. The sizes are one inch to four and an eighth of an inch. Here's how it looks on your standard size card base. Got a little bit of a border on each side and then a larger border on the top. Also for this one, I did the frames as I had in the circles, cut out one of the dies and then inset it with a smaller one to create that frame. And then this one, I cut out one of these stitch scallop dies and then inset it with a rounded corner die for this frame. And again, these also inset with you in each other for another look for these dies. For this one, um, the card I created with this one, I used the largest die and set it on a four and a half by four and a, oh no, four and a quarter by four and a quarter square card. Then I used a smaller one, stamped some images from the Honey Snacks set from Cat Scrappiness, and then heat embossed my sentiment on there for a cute card. And last but not least, we have the rectangle ones. This one also contains six different dies. Here they are cut out. The sizes on this one range from one to two and a quarter inch and four and an eighth inch to five and three eighths of an inch. And this fits perfectly on your standard size card base, leaving a little border all around. For an example on this one, I cut out the second to largest of some pattern paper and popped it up on a card, which makes cute, simple card. Um, so lots of different options with these dies that make you some quick cards. I do have two other dies to show you. These were released in the middle of last month. The first one is Get Well Soon. Here it is. Out, it cuts it in four different pieces. And the approximate length is five inches long if you put it like this. For my example today, I um, put the each word on a different line, cut it out with some glitter paper, get well soon, use some 
pattern paper. Again, another quick and easy card for this. I also use this on this card to get well soon. And one more die I have to show you that was released last month that will come in handy this month. Happy Father's Day. Here's what it looks cut out. And it is three and a half by three inches. And for my example today, I cut the die out three different times, twice on some black paper, and I layered it. And then for the third time, I cut it out of some mirror uh, silver cardstock and kind of offset that with the black to make it stand out a little more. I also use the largest stitch scalloped uh, rectangle die on this card. And then the stamp set is the Dad's Tools that was released last month that will go great with this Happy Father's Day die. Here are some still shots of uh, the all the dies and the dimensions on the dies, as well as the examples of cards that I've created with these dies. I'll have links down below to the do items and to the cat scrappiness uh, shop. Thanks for watching. Bye.